All right. Day 28, journey to journaling. What a wonderful exercise this has been. As always, peeps, I recommend physical journal, pencil. I recommend it because we, I spend too much time. I spend a lot of time as is on my phone and electronics, and I know a lot of you spend way more time than I do. That's really it. Uh, and because it's cool to be able to write something with your hands. I think that's dope. Okay, so today, I made a little video this morning about slowing down in general. And I had some really cool questions come to me that I think are like a fun way, a unique way of gauging the speed at which you're living your life to help you maybe uncover more presence or the lack thereof, more absence, in which case you can bring in more presence. So the questions today, the prompt are, if I were driving on the highway of my life, how fast do I feel like I am going and why am I going that speed? Number two. Let me get a little more right, Boom, right there. Yeah, perfect. In a world of my creation, how fast would I like to drive and why? Three. What will happen if I continue my current speed compounded over time? For me, if I were driving on the highway of my life right now, I would be going 75 miles per hour which I gave a good amount of thought. Like I was really like, how fast do I want to go? Am I going 78? I was like, no, 78 feels pretty fucking fast. 75 feels fast, but not out of control. I'd be going 75 miles per hour. Not quite cruising, which I feel like is more like 70, uh, and not speeding. It's that middle ground where I can still see things around me and enjoy my trip, like I'm bippity boppity booing down the street and I can, you know, or the highway and I can see these cool things, these like rock formations, clouds, etc. I'm still seeing things around me on my trip and adventure, but I'm also moving very intentionally in a direction. Like I know I'm going here tonight to stay. This is important for me to note because of the seasons in my life and my career are changing. I must be aware and adapt quickly. And I always wanna be in tune with what I am desiring within myself and where I feel I'm being led. So for me, this last, I would say like last year was more like 65 miles an hour. I was like on the road and I was getting there, but I wasn't driving as fast as I am now. There's like so many reasons for that, which I can go into in a different video. But I feel like over the last year, I've really increased the speed that I'm moving while staying grounded in that speed. So I'm increasing my speed, but I feel like it's the same in a lot of ways. Like I don't feel like I'm out of control. So I should say maintaining the speed, but also maintaining the control of the car that I'm driving and feeling really confident in the driving ability, but also in the direction that I'm going feels like I want to really go there right now. I'm trying to get there a little faster, but not feeling like I have to speed to get there. I can still enjoy things around me. That was well articulated. And this is important to me because that, that changes from time to time. I mean, there are going to be times where I'm driving 80, 85, and I'm like, I don't, there's things that need to be done. I got to drive a little faster. And there's going to be times where I'm like, man, I'm cruising. I'm going 45 for the next week, right? But I think that overall, if, if I can look at this and, and maybe you can too and see like what's like the average speed I'm going. Some of you are driving 130 miles an hour, like all the time. That's pretty scary. If you're driving 130 miles an hour, one little and you're off the tracks, you're off the road. So I think it's really important to pay attention to this question and really get clarity. There's no, I don't think there's a, I can't tell you how fast to drive. All I can tell you is slow down. Most of you are just driving too fast. Very few of you have to tell them speed up. Most of you, it's slow down. And for me, it's it's keep cruising. So keep cruising, Graham. I think that's the optimal speed of life is cruising, because that's still moving. We're we're, we're on the, the we're moving towards, but with without without hate without haste. We're just flowing there, man. We're rolling. Number two, in a world of my creation, how fast would I like to drive and why? I'd say seventy miles per hour in cruise, seventy and seventy five, something like that because I get to where I want to slash need to be with the least amount of stress possible. I can't explain how, how good less stress feels. It's amazing. Presence, peace, and power. And this is like, what I made the video on this morning is, I just think that overwhelmingly, when, when I drive fast, that's, that's when I can make the most mistakes. When I'm moving really fast in my life, that's when I'm most vulnerable. I make the most mistakes. Uh, they slow me down for longer periods of time. I get into accidents. That causes tons of stress, overwhelm. It amplifies all the, the current stress and overwhelm, and it becomes an absolute disaster. It becomes a crisis. And a lot of you deal with crisis. 
Uh, and you deal with it because you're driving so fast and you're making so many mistakes and errors in your life and you don't have to. You're choosing to. Whether you believe it or not, you are choosing to. And I think that that's the point of this exercise is if I got to choose how fast I wanted to drive and I just, for a second, just move everything else away from me right now, close my eyes and I just sit here for a second. How fast do I want to drive my life? Like, how do I want to actually live? How do I want to live versus how am I living? I think you're gonna get a different answer. And I think that your job is to figure out how to engineer that answer. So if you're driving 110 and you wanna go 75, how do, I, how do I slowly decrease that while still maintaining my basic survival needs, uh, still, still putting myself in a position to have success, whatever it is to you, and that's like other topics, don't get me wrong. But I just feel like having that gauge of how fast you're going, how fast you wanna go, can put things into perspective. And perspective is, I think, a precursor to change. So, pretty cool. One more question. Uh, at my cur... I don't know what the third question was. Hold on. What will happen if I continue at my current speed compounded over time? So at my current speed, I can feel my career picking up while simultaneously organizing itself between really high level clients and work with their teams and organizations, as well as my creation, L2L, Leaders of Legends, the men's group, men's retreats, men's coaching, and beyond. Building and exploding outward. Expanding outward, excuse me. I feel that this... I can't my hand right now. I love that. I love that. I feel at this current pace, I am in a groove, but not out of control. I feel connected. My lifestyle is healthy and fun. My relationships are the most full they've, they've been. And the sky is the limit. Free, open, expansive. Driving with open road and blue skies. Tumbleweed shit. Um, and for me, it's just fewer mistakes, more fun. Like, I feel like the current speed I'm driving is absolutely fantastic. I feel like my life has never been as rich as it is. I've never been as chill as I am. I've never been, I've never had more success. I've never felt more confident in myself, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, uh, financially, relationally, intellectually, spiritually, or spiritually. <laughs> uh, all, all the areas, I just feel the most connected I've been. And I think that's because of the, of the realization, you know, many years ago that I was driving way too fast. And I was making so many mistakes. I was cutting so many corners. I was trying every shortcut to get to where? Wherever I thought I was supposed to be, which I couldn't even articulate if you'd asked me. Where are you supposed to go? Well, I don't really know. Why are you driving so fast? Because I don't know how else to drive, right? So it's been this gradual slowing down and free, more frequent rest stops that's allowed me to start really understanding where I, where I might want to go. Uh, and then driving in a, in a way that keeps my stress low, my energy high, uh, my, my fun meter up, uh, and, and really present with what's happening around me. And I, I always say it's, it's presence, peace, power. That the, the, the presence that I have leads to the peace I feel, which others and my, I and others recognize as power. Uh, so it makes them stop and ask me, what do you do? Or you know, you're different. Well, why, do, why do you think that? You know? power so yeah i think that it's really important and if you're driving really fast slow down get clarity on what speed you want to drive at and start to make the changes required to drive that speed because uh, it's fun life is not fun when you crash your car it's not fun when you have major accidents it's not fun when you when when uh when you have to face the music of the choices you made that that put you in really really tough situations that's not fun stressful and i just personally don't want to live a stressful life, I want to live a stress-free life. Stress-free is even the word. I want to live the least stressful life I can possibly conceive of. And uh, I feel like driving 75 is a great speed for me. And again, there's moments where I might go 80, sometimes 85. I really never go faster than that. And I honestly don't really drive faster than on the road either. I just don't feel the need. I'm not in a hurry. I think I've, I've, engineered, my life, I've engineered my life to not be in a hurry. And I think that is healthy and sustainable. And I'm all about sustainability for me. Because if I can't be sustainable for me, then what I'm sharing with you, teaching you, coaching you on will not be sustainable at all. <laughs> uh, so it works that way. And uh, I see the, the world, um, all the organisms that have evolved in our world, they all operate in a similar fashion. And uh, any, anyone that I ever see that grows too fast or goes too fast, there's always a crash. There's always a burn. There's always a, a lot of really stressful things so anyway slow down be good cruise cruising energy that's what we got going on here
I go back to you sometimes like this. <laughs> All right. I hope this was useful and helpful for you today. I'm wishing you all the best. Be good, be safe. Much love always. Presence, peace, and power be with you. Let's just find a way. Day 28, two more days. And uh, feel free also to share this with somebody who you feel like might need it. I think this is a powerful exercise. Adios.